Hi everybody, it's Jody here and welcome back to my channel or hello for the very first time. <laughs> Today for our let's chat, I decided let's do something a little bit different. Uh, one of the things I get requested for a lot and it's probably because I've mentioned the fact that we've been doing home renos that people sort of want a house tour and I've hummed and hawed about it. My husband and I have talked about it a bunch and I've decided that a house tour is not something I'm completely comfortable with and it's nothing against the majority of my regular subscribers, my regular viewers, it's the fact that there are a lot of creepers out there. I do not live in like a gated community and I'm not entirely comfortable showing everyone the layout of my house. There's some things that I am very open and share a lot of things with you guys, but there are some things that are mine and will remain mine and part of that is going to be the layout of my tiny little home. But what I decided to do is sort of the next best thing and I wanted to go through and show you guys some of my favorite items in my house. So you guys, you know, as much as someone can talk to you and tell you about themselves, really when you look at the weird shit in people's houses, that's usually when you actually get to know them the best. So I've taken a few pictures of some of my favorite items in our house. These are not all of my favorite items. Um, and, and one of the things I'm going to explain to you guys is I don't care if I win the lottery tomorrow, my house is going to be bizarre. The things in my home are things that bring me joy. If I look at that item and I don't have a memory attached to it, it doesn't give me a feeling. It's out, it's out the door. It's out the door. There's no reason to hang on to it. So, um, I have a lot of weird stuff. I have a lot of weird stuff and I think it doesn't matter how much money I ever have. If I win the lottery tomorrow and become a bajillionaire, I still will never live in a house that is cookie cutter and looks like a show home. It's just not a home to me. So I'm gonna move over to the side. <laughs> the wheels are not working today. Moving over to the side so I can show you guys some pictures. This first picture here, this is a glass float. Um, my mother was born in Oregon. Uh, she grew up in an area called Yahats. Um, and my grandfather, uh, who I called Old Gramps, would scavenge in like the 60s, 70s, that sort of time, off of the beach. And this is a Japanese float that he found. He has since passed. And my mother received a couple of the floats that he had found and, and her sister did as well in passing. My mother passed this on to me and it is one of my most treasured treasured items. I guess from what I understand it is very rare to find one that actually still has the netting on it. But I look at it, it fills my heart with joy. It, it, it reminds me of him. It reminds me of our family time in Oregon and I just, I love it. It's a unique, weird item you're not gonna find in everybody's house and uh, it means an awful lot to me, so I kinda love it. Next thing here needs no introduction. This is my wedding portrait <laughs> of my husband and I. When we got married, um, we had just a generic picture in it. Uh, after we got married and got our wedding photos developed, uh, we put our own in here, but instead of having a guest book, I had everyone sign this. Uh, the reason this is so important to me is it's me and my husband. It's the only picture of the two of us together that we have in our house and we do have it hanging in our bedroom. The messages on the outside, if I'm having a bad day or we're having relationship struggles or whatever seems to be going on, I, I look at that and, and read them. And it's very, very special to me because you'd be amazed at the amount of signatures from people that are on this that are no longer with us. So I love it. Next up, I have my Coca-Cola button. <laughs> No, this isn't an original one. I really wish it was. I have a huge vintage Coca-Cola collection. I've got mirrors. I've got play. I got. I have. I have so much Coca-Cola stuff. It's ridiculous. So I just decided to show you guys the most prominent thing in my kitchen. And yes, my kitchen walls are that crazy yellow. My husband picked it out. It looks like a canary in there. <laughs> Actually, it's brighter than a canary. It's like I don't know. I don't know. It looks like Mardi Gras. <laughs> up in my kitchen but this coca-cola button i wanted one for years and my husband bought it for me i love it it sits in a very prominent place in the kitchen so you cannot miss it so that's just representative of my huge coke collection okay this next picture here please do not judge uh we some of the windows in my house still need to be replaced they're the original 1949 windows this being one of them uh we put the plastic over over top and then we had a windstorm a couple days ago and it just tore that plastic to bits so my husband hasn't actually had a day off but he's gonna pull that off and re you know, winter, seal it up. We only have two windows, three windows in the house that we have to do that to, the dining room being one. Uh, this is a panel of stained glass. Um, 
this is a replica of a Tiffany stained glass. So it's it's not original, but my Nana bought it for us. I love it hanging in my window. I feel like it suits the era of the house. It suits my weird sort of olden timey obsession. And uh, yeah, I just like it. It's strange, it's weird, it hangs in a window. I hung it in the window so that the light would come through it. You can hang it on the wall, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, it's not strong enough to actually replace an actual physical window. Like, don't do that with it. It's decorative. But I like it in the window because the light shines through it and you can see all the different colors. It's really pretty. So here is a shell. My husband, our back of our house has 12 foot, 12 foot? 13 foot? 12 foot, I think they're 12 foot. 12 foot um, to, the, to the ceiling in the back of our house. Uh, which was a later addition to the home. We didn't do it, but it was a later addition to the home. So when you walk in, uh, there's stairs going up and stairs going down, but there's great big areas that sort of don't make sense. So the one is the entranceway. It makes sense on the one side of the stairs, but the other side of the stairs didn't make much sense. So my husband built me like 10 and a half foot home built, built in um, cabinets with a natural gas fireplace in the bottom. I have books in there, I have trinkets in there, I have, uh, I got so much stuff. But I wanted to show you guys this shelf so that you can understand that my obsession with stained glass is real. And I also wanted to show you guys the shelf, oh, and that's my Jane Austen collection on the side. And uh, uh, Mr. Darcy's diaries that I'm sort of obsessed with. Um, the shelf up above I wanted to show you guys because of that um, first aid kit. I love weird old macabre medical kind of stuff, so that is right up my alley. This is just sort of an idea of the kind of weird stuff I have throughout my home. <laughs> this is really kind of embarrassing. Um, my favorite newer piece of furniture we bought is this. Um, this is a completely reclaimed wood table. It's from Urban Barn. Uh, it smells amazing, like pine. Um, I couldn't get a good picture of it so you guys could see the big industrial legs on it, but those drawers go all the way through. So that's where I keep our extra remotes, my headphones, my computer lives in there, so it's right by the table with me, but it gives me somewhere to tuck things away. Everyone who comes to my house and they go in the living room, forget everything else cool on the walls. They're like, oh, look at that table. It was pricey. But, you know, we pinched some pennies together so that we could buy it. All right, this trunk. This trunk is like one of the most meaningful things that I have in my house. It is sitting where it's sitting and you guys will see the junk on the back because everything has been pulled off of the shelves and the walls to carry on with our renos and this is just sort of the area that it all kind of landed. This trunk is a family heirloom. This trunk came across from Europe. This held my ancestors' treasures as they went on the Oregon Trail. This is just nuts. It's just, it's just crazy. It gives me all the good feels. I absolutely love it. All of the hardware is still on it. It's not missing anything. I don't know where it's gonna live in my house because it is so large, but oh, oh, I love her so much, so much. This little guy here is a footprint. Um, when we redid our flooring upstairs, which you guys have seen probably bits and pieces of the flooring, if you guys watch my Snapchat and stuff, it's sort of a, gra it's a gray vinyl plank. We had to resurface some of the area. And we had to use sort of a sort of a concrete kind of style compound to level everything out. We did our best to keep Eddie, our little dog who passed away, away from it. But he did get one little footprint in there. So instead of refilling it in, um, because he was getting very sick at that time and we knew it was probably getting close to the end for him, we sanded down the edges and we put the flooring over top. Sorry, I don't mean to get choked up. So there's a little piece of Eddie in our floor. <laughs> which I think is awesome and I can tell you exactly what plank in, in, in the kitchen that is over top of this little guy, but he's made his footprint on our lives and on our, on our home. So, yeah, I kind of love that. <laughs> okay, stop crying like a jackass. <laughs> All right, this next thing is this really cool bug thing. My friend Sam, we used to do, we don't do it anymore because our circle of friends has kind of grown. Everybody's got so much on their plate as it is that we've stopped doing it, but we used to do like a friend gift exchange, but the whole deal with the gift exchange was it had to be something creative. And she made me this a couple years ago. It was our last friend, like, creative gift exchange. And she knows I love steam steampunk, she knows I love insects, so she got this double frame, and she made this all out of watch pieces and chunks of metal 
and brooches and she made a little owl on one side and a dragonfly on the other and I I love that is one of it, I, it's one of my favorite items in my house I love it and it's one of those things that people go oh where did you get that well you can't buy it because Sam's just that amazing <laughs> Next thing that I have is this guy. This is my death's head moth. Yes, it is a real mountain moth. I have several insects in my house. I got a beetle, I got some butterflies, and I have my death's head moth of mounted insects. Um, I know lots of people don't agree with that sort of thing. Um, these are humanely gathered as much as you can to have an actual specimen. These are considered actual specimens. Um, I was obsessed with Silence of the Lambs. I am still obsessed with Silence of the Lambs and Hannibal Lecter, which I'll prove to you very shortly. So the Death's Head Moth to me is my favorite. It's macabre and creepy and I love him so much. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone to see the pictures what order. <laughs> I love him so much and he's super creepy. Next we have the man of the hour himself. This is Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> this painting is it's, it's, it's huge. Um, it usually hangs up in my uh, movie room in the basement. I can see it from my vanity right now. He hangs up behind our couch in the movie area. He's really creepy. When you move around, his eyes follow you. It was one of those art pieces that I did not think my husband would say yes to, and he did, much to my surprise. It is made by a local artist. It's hand-painted. This is the original. Her name's Jessie Guns. Um, she's also a tattoo artist, and I love this guy. This is a love-hate. Most people come to my house and they go, what? No, they're creeped out by him. I love him. <laughs> okay, everybody, well, I hope you enjoyed looking at my weird shit in my house. <laughs> I could actually do a whole series on this. I got all kinds of weird stuff, but I tried to keep this one a little bit more generalized. If you guys would like to see more of my weird shit, please let me know in the comment section down below. In case you guys didn't realize, I am Yodel and Jonah on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. If you guys want to follow me on any of those platforms, I'm probably the most active on Snapchat, to be honest. So if you guys want to see more of Axel, he's definitely on there a lot. <laughs> and personal rants and... I don't know, just, just, just hanging out and telling you how my day is going. That'll be on Snapchat. It's Yodel and Joda everywhere. And you guys all know the Drillio. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this weird ass video. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. It'd be greatly appreciated. And as always, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time.